Talking about a medical diagnosis can be a challenge, maybe a little scary, but it is important to communicate. Gloria Zinn from West Hills Church joins us to talk about that conversation, how it can be made easier. We also have Elizabeth Chetland with the Alzheimer's Association to talk about the impacts of those conversations. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Gloria, why don't we uh, start with you? Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing um, for people with Alzheimer's and dementia? Well, we're going to have our second workshop at West Hills Church on Saturday at 9 o'clock. Anyone that would like to come is certainly welcome to come. And uh, it will go till noon. And Molly George is our, from the Alzheimer's Association, is our presenter. Sure. And what sort of things will you be discussing with families? Basically, it's, well, this is the brochure. And we're going to be talking about uh, dementia, the conversations, um, effective communication with an Alzheimer's. We're looking at people that are care partners or maybe someone has a friend or a relative that they have a feeling has Alzheimer's or the beginning of Alzheimer's. So we want to try and give as much information as possible. Sure. And Elizabeth, why, first off, I want to quickly ask, why is it so important to have that conversation and that communication? There's a few critical conversations to have after a person's been diagnosed. You know, we want to have legal plans in place. We want to have discussions about driving. We want to have discussions about medication management. And those are things that are challenging for our caregivers to bring up to a loved one. So the Alzheimer's Association really wants to welcome families through this seminar and many available in the community to be able to have that conversation in a really safe space with professionals. Uh, like Molly, like she mentioned. Yeah, these community partnerships are so important. You know, it's important that communities, the members of our community realize that the Alzheimer's Association can offer free education in your workplace, that we can offer it in your faith community. And in partnering with Gloria and West Hills Church, it's been a great opportunity for us to reach people that maybe we wouldn't reach if they were just coming to us. So it's a great, great opportunity this weekend, but people can know that there is free education available year-round in various locations across the metro. And they can just go to the website and sign up, find out uh, more details about all those things that will be coming up? Yeah, we have about 13 different educational sessions that we offer throughout the year, and uh, we offer them multiple times a year. So if you go to alz.org slash Nebraska, you can learn about all of them. Okay, great. Elizabeth, Gloria, thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thanks thank for having us. You bet.